Good morning, good evening, good day, or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. Hi, how are you? So today, I realize that I have talked a lot about having eczema. I guess now is the time where I should make the disclaimer that it is a small house that I live in with very thin walls, with a family of seven, and they are all watching football right over, right over there, right outside of there, and, um, they're very loud, and I can't really do anything to help that, so I'm sorry if you hear that. I realize that I've talked a lot to you guys about how I have eczema, but I haven't exactly described to you what eczema is, and I've told you that it's a catch-all term for a bunch of different skin conditions, but I haven't told you what they are. And I thought for anyone who's struggling with eczema out there, or for anyone who just wanted to know, I would just go through and talk about the different kind of eczemas. Before I forget, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that little notification bell if you would like a notification for when I upload a video. Okay, first eczema type that I would like to talk about today. Stasis dermatitis. Stasis dermatitis is when there is a venous insufficiency or per poor circulation in the lower legs. Now, venous insufficiency is something that happens when the valves in the leg veins that help push blood back to the heart weaken and leak fluid, allowing water and blood cells to pool in the lower legs. I'd like to say that while I am knowledgeable about a few things, uh, specifically the things that have happened to me, I am not a doctor yet. I'm on the pre-med track, but I am not a doctor yet. So, of course, trust what your doctor says before trusting what I say. If you have any questions, I would bring them more to a doctor <laughs> than to me. And I will list down below the sources that I found this information at and other sources for you guys if you'd like to look more into this. But again, maybe take what I say with just a little grain of salt because like I said, I'm not a doctor yet. Stasis, dermatase, derm, <laughs> dermatases. Stasis dermatitis is most common in people with poor circulation, which are usually people over, four, over 50. <laughs> more common in women. Risk factors that can lead to stasis dermatitis include varicose veins, high blood pressure, obesity, vein surgeries, multiple pregnancies, history of blood clots in the legs, congestive heart failure, kidney failure, a job with long hours of sitting or standing, and a lack of exercise. Symptoms in, um, include ankle swelling, redness, ashen skin, orange, orangey brown speckles of discoloration, itching, scaling, dryness, um, heavy aching feeling after long periods of sitting or standing, increased risk for developing contact dermatitis, which is another one we'll talk about later, and ulcers. And this is usually on the feet and the lower legs. Now, of course, I will show you guys images if you would like. Fair warning, they might be a little hard for you to handle, potentially, so if you'd like to stop here, that is perfectly okay. This is the warning. Okay. So this is what stasis... This is what stasis dermatitis looks like. That is what I have to say on that version of eczema. I'm sorry that this wasn't as makeup-oriented or as fun of a conversation to have, but I hope that I helped you guys learn something today a little bit. And if I didn't, that's okay too. I hope you just enjoyed watching. So I hope you all have just a wonderful day. Mwah. Bye.